ഒരു കാര്യം എനിക്ക് ഉറപ്പാണ് അയാൾ ഇവിടെ വെറുതെ വന്നേക്കുന്ന ആളില്ല പറ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഉള്ളിൽ എന്താന്ന് പറ ഹലോ എവ്രിവൺ ദിസ് ഇസ് സൗന്ദര്യ ആദിമുത്തു ഫ്രം ദ ക്വിൻ ടു യു ആർ ലിസ്ണിംഗ് ടു ഡു ഐ ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് എ ക്വിൻ പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ വെർ വി റിവ്യൂ എനിത്തിങ് ആൻഡ് എവ്രിതിങ് അണ്ടർ ദ സൺ ഇൻ ദിസ് എപ്പിസോഡ് ഐ വിൽ ടെൽ യു ഡു ഐ ലൈക്ക് മമ്മൂട്ടിസ് ലേറ്റസ്റ്റ് ഫിലിം റോഷാക്ക് ഇൻ ലൈഫ് തിങ്സ് ഹാപ്പൻ and even if nothing's happening that's still something happening right so on this show we talk about things that happen we get an esteemed panel of highly jobless people to answer the million dollar question do i like it let's start with the fact mamuti is 71 you heard the number it means 7 followed by 1 but the energy he exhibits That looks like he is 17 bro like one followed by seven All right before I keep talking about Mamuti and his style forever and of course Roshak review first things first subscribe to Quint's YouTube channel follow Quint on all podcast streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts and most importantly ask 10 friends in your list to subscribe Coming back to Mamuti's Roshak. When I first read the title Roshak, okay honestly I didn't read it like Roshak. I had to do Google search to try and pronounce it the right way. I hope I'm not miserably failing at it. So basically the spelling is this, okay? R O R S C H A C H. Okay, how many C H you want to add? She she also has C H. by the way but anyways coming back to the term right it feels like a cousin sister of croissant if you know what i mean like it doesn't feel right like that spelling that pronunciation none of it feels right but still you just have to go ahead and say it so the first thing that captivated me is this spelling and second thing is the meaning so in medical terms it means it is a psychological test used to assess a person's personality traits Okay so how they interpret looking at an ink blot and now i was wondering okay you know what this term is actually in sync with what the film is also about consider that this mamuti film is the ink blot okay how does this film make you feel what is your perception about this film you know what kind of answers are you trying to arrive at and that depends on your characteristics and that's quite fascinating in a way because you watching the film is in a way like you taking a roshak test to figure out what is your character or what is your personality trait very amusing right <laughs> at least for me disclaimers first i'm going to be trying to make this review you know as spoiler free as possible of course every film deserves to be spoiler free but i believe this film specifically and this genre specifically a psychological thriller you know it's unfair to give out details even in the minimalistic level you know even to give out some basic information i think it is not fair of course this is not going to be a wildly random review also i will be giving you the context i will tell you what i really liked about the film or what didn't work much for me and more okay so the story of roshak unfolds in a very rustic rural backdrop and the protagonist here is a very complicated guy he is luke antony which is played by our fantastic mamuti he is a foreign returned guy okay basically he is in this village with a very mysterious mission all right and he is very determined to accomplish it but what is it how does he go about accomplishing it all of that you need to watch the film to experience that suspense So Luke is basically a guy who's not in a hurry to reveal his character or his goals right away right he takes his time and so does the film to you know drop a suspense bomb sit on it and raise our tensions and explore when we least expected to like deploying a very compelling visual storytelling the film kind of juggles from past to present in a very smooth fashion What I really loved about Roshak is that it gives you this immersive experience right you you feel engrossed in that story you you get pulled into its world only if you pay full attention that it deserves The film demands you to stick along with patience but if you do you reap the benefits 
you can experience the joy of connecting the dots on your own terms and you can feel ecstatic about it that's the best part about the film another thing that i really loved about the film is that director nizam bashir he uses confined spaces brilliantly like for instance luke's half constructed horror house or beed is haunted mind you just feel engrossed into this roshak world both these spaces have this eerie feeling attached to it like it makes you not claustrophobic but it makes you curious like to know and explore that space it makes you question what is this what is that i want to know what i'm feeling right now like i can sense something which is a, a very new feeling in me but i i really don't know what it is let me try and answer that so these are the kind of feelings that you will go through while you watch this film and it isn't just mamuti who aces his role as a conflicted protagonist i think other stars including uh, jagdish grace anthony bindu sanju uh, sharafuddin and nazir all of them score with their convincing performances the cherry on the top is the detailing in the characters like for every characters and the casting is also like impeccable right all of them have the scope to explore their intriguing shades of grayness you know nobody is like white or black everybody falls under that gray shade specifically talking about bindu's character she plays a mother who goes to any lens to protect her family her character had this lot of meat to show this complex emotion like that reminded me parts of uh, you know mohanlal's drishyam or the tamil remake uh, kamal hasan's papanasan however the film does feel like it meanders a little bit like once you get a hold of the real intentions of every character like once the big reveals happen like once you start getting a clearer picture of what's happening things slightly get repetitive but nevertheless mithun mukundan's music adds a whole new dimension to the narrative with recent films like nane varuven starring dhanush or uh, cobra starring vikram and now mamuti's roshak i think one thing is for sure it's raining psychological thrillers in south film industry and i just hope it keeps coming uh, you know they keep it unique and they keep it interesting and i'm just looking forward to more so after all this talk do i like it do i like roshak of course i do and do i recommend you to watch of course i definitely recommend you to go watch it and yeah that brings us to the end of this episode follow us on instagram at the quint and tell us what you want us to talk about next week and check our website the quint.com for more ground breaking reports and videos this was soundarya adimuthu and i'll see you in the next one do i like it is a quint original podcast hosted by soundarya adimuthu executive produced by shelly valya and ritu kapoor produced by anjali palod edited by prateek lindu written by soundarya adimuthu Use this audio from Roshak theme music from BMG Production Music You were listening to the Quinn's podcast